Right, the binary multiplication question next, and the question involved the same two numbers uh, as before, 1011 times 111. Uh, and the basics of binary multiplication, again, very easy. 0 times 1 is 0, and 1 times 1 is simply 1. So if we're going to write this one out in a more useful way, it will be something like 1011 times 111. Now, this is going to take you back to some primary school maths. First of all, let's multiply this number, the 1011, by this 1 here. So, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 here is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. And 1 times 1 is 1. No surprises so far. Now, let's think about multiplying by this one. Again, think back to primary school maths. If you're multiplying in normal deanery, uh, this one, before you multiply by this one, you'd have to put the zero in here because we'd be multiplying by the tens column. It's pretty much exactly the same thing here, except this isn't the tens column, of course, it's the twos column. So we're now going to multiply it again by this. One times one is one. One times one is one. One times zero is zero. One times one is one. Same again for this one then, but this time it's in the third uh, place along. It's in the fours column. Uh, so we need to write two zeros first, and then we'll do the same multiplication, which gives us one, one, zero, one. Final stage is to add them all up. So zero plus zero plus one is a one. Two ones together is a zero, carry one. Three ones, if you remember, four, three, one, one. So that's a 1, carry a 1. And again, 3 1s, so a 1, carry 1. 2 1s uh, is 1, 0, so 0, carry 1. 2 1s is 1, 0, so 0, carry 1. It leaves us with the 1 there. So 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 is our answer to the original question there.